knew exactly what I wanted. I just didn't know how to get there. Mentorship is gaining the confidence of the person whom you're going to mentor. HB has really opened up avenues for me to flourish as a scholar. The HB year was the turning point of my research as a scholar. I seek ways for engagement with other humanists. Break boundaries and forge ahead in humanities scholarship. I was born in Zimbabwe, in the town Bulawayo. That's where I grew up. So I did my first degree in French and Spanish language and literatures. And then I did my master's in, in French literature. And then I moved to Stellenbosch in 2012 to pursue my PhD studies. And after my PhD, I returned to Zimbabwe where I lectured at the University of Zimbabwe until when I got an offer to lecture at Stellenbosch University. I started working with the AHP through the AHP Postdoctoral Fellowship. And through that fellowship, I produced my first book. And then recently, I was also involved in a book project, which was published through the AHA uh, book series. It was very important that the African Humanities Programme, which was a capacity building programme, becomes something more than that. The move to, towards the African Humanities Association, I think, is a good move in which scholars on the continent are able to, to be the main interlocutors in the knowledge production ecosystem. I decided to focus more on film in the second book. So the book is entitled Queer Bodies in African Films. and. The main argument that I make is that bodies can be read as texts. And this is especially important in an African context where queer people exist in the margins of societies. And what I propose in this book is a pan-African understanding of queer bodies in films. La jeune femme ici, elle habite dans cet espace. Donc on va essayer de voir comment elle navigue cet espace. I think all writing is political, and I think writing about queer bodies also fits into ongoing debates about queerness, for example, being an African. It's important to have such scholarship being published in the continent and being in dialogue with scholars on the continent. And I think the AHP allowing such kinds of debates to take place is, is important. I initially attended a um, writing workshop, a manuscript development workshop. There's a process of advocacy in which someone reads your proposal and they present it on your behalf and then different people who are attending the workshop also listen to that presentation and then try and give their feedback, very constructive feedback on, on that proposal, looking at the weaknesses and what's good, what could be developed more. There is shortcoming about it, but I think there is strength about it. I mean, the shortcoming is it generalizes a lot, a lot. But I find it very interesting as well that from this generalized thing, there is a way you can start unraveling. Okay. There's always a challenge of, of producing knowledge from the global south, I think, because there's the constant need, I think, from publishers and from journal editors from reviewers as well to, to always cite Global North scholars. Papers will always come back requiring me to cite Michel Foucault, Judith Butler, and all those Global North philosophers and scholars. And I think there's so much rich scholarship from the African continent that I could engage with more productively. If you're in African institutions, I think of higher learning, there's so much pressure from different things, like especially teaching, where you have heavy teaching loads. Finding time to work on your writing will require dedication and also commitment to that craft. So after that manuscript development workshop, I started working on the book, and it took me around two years to have a, a first draft. So a mentor was approached to work with me during that process. 
She had also just recently published her book, which also focused on queer African cinema. So her points of view were very pushing. Well, they pushed me to think differently about my, my own argument I was making. So what do you think in terms of my mentorship worked well for you? I think the sessions that we've had every Monday have been very helpful for me to think through my ideas and to ensure that my writing is very clear. And ha have you enjoyed this mentoring session? I love that we sometimes just had different perspectives on things based on where we were, right? So, um, and you know, you you read French and you read Arabic and you were incorporating all these um, North African texts that I also got to learn about sometimes. I mean, I think this is with all mentorship, but sometimes you're like, oh, I think it should be like X, Y, Z. And then you get it and it's like, you know, PCW and it's like, well, that's that's okay too. You know, there are other the other ways to, you know, sometimes we both kind of agree agreed on the problem um, and just had different ideas about how to fix it. And um, you know, sometimes you went with my way and sometimes you went with your own way. And I think that your ability to kind of assess which way was better um, was was pretty extraordinary and, and it worked really well. Going forward, I would also want to, to be involved in the activities of the AHA, either being an author and also uh, mentoring other younger scholars to write their books through the AHA. I'm also very excited to take part in the inaugural AHA conference to discuss different ways in which we could collaborate and work together in creating cutting-edge scholarship on the continent. Mm -hmm.